in the final bit of section five, we're going to look at how experiments help with innovation. We've been talking about experimentation, exploration already in the context of ambidexterity and in the two approaches, the conception and execution of the DIG strategy. Let's have a look in a little bit more detail why this is useful. Now, I say here is the basis of innovation and risk management. What does that mean? First of all, remember what uh, Kenneth Arrow had to tell us. Learning is a part of experience. It happens a lot or best through the attempts to solve a problem and only takes place during activity. Now, something is a bit of a misconception, generally, is that entrepreneurs are risk takers. Well, they're not. Um, a risk taker is someone who you know, prefers to have more risk than, than less risk. No, they don't. In fact, successful innovation reduces risks because it takes experiments, small tests, run these tests, it redesigns, develops new data, refines, adapts the hypothesis, and through this design thinking, interacts with customers, makes small bets, and, but escalates commitments. Now, this is consistent with what we call design thinking, based on rapid prototyping, getting feedback, listening to the customers, to the users, and giving them what they want, and make life easy for the user. And it's consistent with the effectuation theory of Sarah Sarasvati. You can go and look it up. But effectively, what she says is that entrepreneurs often want to have an effect on the environment. Rather than looking at the environment and making that a constraint on their activities, they want to go out and innovate and have an impact, have an effect, hence effectuation. And in particular, this idea of interacting with customers is important, but taking small steps. Often, she found that entrepreneurs will decide how much they are willing to risk or how much they can risk and allocate that to a project and then escalate the commitments as they become more successful. So, entrepreneurs are not risk takers, innovators are not risk takers, but they reduce risk. They run tests, experiments, validate their ideas or otherwise and adapt and keep on refining, 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 learning learning.